Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And today we'll be doing quite a large install of a bunch of access readers and pairing them to Unify Talk as well. So there's a lot of stuff that we'll be doing uh, in this video and probably the next couple parts. So stay tuned, should be pretty fun. Let's get started. But before we do that, I do want to go over the existing door access um, equipment that we already have in the building to kind of show how we're going to improve this time. Let's go take a look. Okay, so this is door one of two. This is the access reader. Um, and we do have the access hub inside of the room. So you'll see if I scan in, it'll flash, it'll unlock. And we are into the room. Now, this one looks pretty horrible. Obviously there's some kind of extra support thing here. Um, and this lock is kind of just like not in there real well. Um, part of the issue though, is these doors are kind of offset. I'll show you that in a second, but these doors are offset. So we had to get a, um, we had to move it down basically a little bit to get it to actually work. So this one does not look good. The next one does not look good, but hopefully we can improve this time. So I will mention outside of the door you just saw, we do have a door that has an access ultra with a standard strike. I'm putting pictures on the screen now. One of the things you'll notice is these doors are kind of offset from a standard latch which makes it extremely difficult for us to use a normal door strike, which is why a lot of these doors look terrible. So we're hoping to kind of improve that this time and use a latch that either fits the door or modify it in a nicer method. Uh, that way it doesn't turn out like the first door did. I also realized after recording that I didn't record a part that shows the equipment that we got. So we have a G3 intercom, two G3 starter kit lights, two G3 starter kit pros, and a access ultra reader. We're going to be doing four doors that have door access, uh, four exterior doors, and then one interior door. So this is the door that's going to get the access ultra. So we'll put the ultra probably right outside. You'll see the actual latch for the door is kind of just down a little bit. So essentially most doors are kind of kind of have it in the middle. These doors do seem to be offset in the sense that that part is a little bit lower down. So you'll see if I close the door, um, it kind of hits at the bottom area, which I don't know if that's intentional or what, but I just know with the typical electric strike, um, that wasn't working out real well and um, it wasn't fitting. So right here is another door that's going to have the access reader. So right here, uh, we will put the um, reader um, right outside the door. So essentially it'll be the um, the starter kit, the small one, um, just the standard reader that you can just use the badge to get in through this door. And there is another door kind of at the end of the building, but it's basically the same thing in the sense that it's just gonna have the starter kit. Um, it'll be pretty basic. So not a big deal for that door, um, but I do want to show you the other doors. We did change our mind. The reader was gonna go on the left where I'm probably going to point, uh, but the access intercom um, device is actually going to go over here in the middle. Um, but then over here, if I walk over here, you'll see this kind of the middle between all the doors. There is a old little intercom device here that allows you to talk to the people on the other end that answer the phones. Um, we'll put the ubiquity intercom device right here. So I don't know if we'll also do the pro reader over there, or if we're just gonna do the intercom right here. I had not decided yet, um, but we'll do something like that. and. Only one of these four doors will have a um, electric crash bar on it. So we need to decide, it's probably gonna be that door, but I, I don't think we know yet exactly which door it'll be. So that's just the thought on that door. Um, but one note is you'll see these crash bars do look really odd. So these do look different from a traditional crash bar. Um, I guess one that I'm used to seeing um, in the sense that these kind of come down from below and they kind of push to open. Uh, the problem with that is there's no way to kind of electrify this. So there's no way that we can get a motor to add onto this um, crash bar. So we have to completely replace the crash bar entirely, which is fine, but there's eight doors here and they all have this crash bar. So one is going to look different, unfortunately, but um, due to budgetary constraints and stuff for now, we're just gonna, just gonna do one. So let's go check out the last door that's going to get the access reader. And this is the last door that we will be adding the reader to. Uh, this one does have a more traditional crash bar and we can get just an upgrade kit for this door, uh, which is like $700, I think, uh, to basically electrify this. On the outside of the door, we'll put the reader there or probably, I think it makes most sense there. But this is the kind of crash bar that we need on all of the exterior doors. Uh, like I said, just because that's the only one that we can find motors for to electrify it. Okay, so unfortunately that is where I'm going to leave it for this video. Essentially, I wanted to show you guys all of the kind of whole setup that we're going through with this project, all the um, access things that we'll be using, all the products. There's going to be a lot more um, to this series of videos. I'm gonna make more as we go along. Um, I'm going to show you the actual setup for how everything is going to be wired with the fuses, the power supplies, et cetera. And as well as I'm going to make another video at the final install, showing you guys what the final product looks like. So um, please stay tuned for those videos. I hope this video was kind of getting you intrigued in the project and kind of showing you 
um, and so you have a better understanding of what we're actually going to be doing and how we're going to be setting it up. We will be using electrified crash bars for all of the doors. Um, that is because if the power goes out, we don't want magnets to kind of deactivate and open the doors. Um, and crash bars just make the most sense because then you can still push on it at any time to open the door. Whereas if it was a magnet, you'd have to have a motion sensor and all that kind of stuff for it to open. Um, and just for emergencies, a crash bar just makes a lot more sense to me. That is all I got for this video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned, like I said. Uh, make sure to subscribe and like the video or whatever for, to see the next part. So um, the next part will be coming soon. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you all in the next video.